In this lecture, we are going to understand on a very high level what is Angular's injection token. We will also briefly understand how dependency injection works behind the scenes in Angular. So currently I am in the user service class. And so far we have seen that we inject this service into a class by using a constructor. So in order to inject this logger service inside this user service class, what we are doing is we are creating a constructor. And using that constructor, we ask Angular to inject a service, right? Now, if we take example of this user service, we are using this user service inside this user list component. So in here, we are injecting an instance of user service. Now, how are we injecting an instance of this user service? By using a constructor in the user list component class. And then we are also providing this user service from the app module. So if I go to app module, there we are providing that user service now when we are providing this user service like this or any service for that matter this is just a syntactic sugar this line is actually something more so behind the scenes what angular does is it converts this line basically the type here which we are specifying into an object like this and in that object we will have two properties the provide property and it will be assigned with user service so this user service is the type and then it will also have a property called use class and again it will be assigned with user service so this is how behind the scenes angular work with the type of the service which we specify inside the providers array so for example when we specify the type of the service behind the scenes it gets converted into an object and in that object we will have this provide this property basically stores a unique identifier for registering the class, which we also call as token. And this token acts like a key. So the dependency injection system needs this key to locate the provider in the provider's array. And this token can be either a type or a string or an instance of injection token. And we will see that later. So keep in mind that this provider basically stores a unique identifier, a token. And then we have this property use class. And using this use class, we are specifying which class needs to be instantiated for that token. As I mentioned, we are using this user service inside the admin component and we are using it inside the user list component. So if we go to the web page, our application should still be working. Let me close this here and let's go to admin section. And in there, let's try to create a new user. When I click on this create button, that user has been added as you can see. So the functionality is still working. But now what we are doing is we are explicitly specifying a token for that service. Let me move these elements into a separate line so that it will be more readable and understandable. Now, as I mentioned, this unique identifier can be a type, a string value or an injection token. So instead of using a type here, let's go ahead and let's use a string value. And here I will call this token as maybe user underscore service. Okay, with this, if I save the changes and if you go to the web page, let me go to this admin tab and you see our admin tab is not displayed here. Let me open developer console and let's see if we have any error. And you will notice that here we have an error. And the error says no provider for user service. That's because here we have provided a new token for this provide property. But when we are using this service in the admin component or in the user list component, there while injecting the service, Angular does not know the service with which token it has to inject here. So here for this user service, we want to inject an instance of this user service class where the token is user service. So we need to tell that to Angular. And we can do that by using at inject decorator. So here I can use at inject decorator. And in order to use this at inject decorator, we also need to import it from Angular slash co. So let me also go ahead and let me import it here. Okay. And in here, we need to specify that string value. So I'll go to this app module from there. I will copy this string value and I'll specify it here using this at inject decorator. So that error is gone. If I save the changes now and if we go to the web page 
and if I go to this admin tab, we still have this error. That's because we are using this user service at two places. We are using it in the admin component and we are also using it in the user list component. So there also we need to do the same thing. So again, first of all, I'll go ahead and I will import inject from Angular Co. And then I'll decorate this parameter with at inject. So here it should be at inject. And in here, we need to specify the identifier name. So the identifier name here is user service. We copy this and let's go ahead and let's paste it here. Let's save the changes now. Let's go to the web page again and let's go to admin section now. And that error is gone. Okay. And let's quickly check the functionality here. Here, I'll specify the name as John. John is male. Let's say subscription type is quarterly and he's an active user. When I click on this create button, that user has been added and the logger service has also been executed. So now the functionality is working. And this time as a unique identifier, we are using a string value for this user service. Okay, so this string, it is nothing more than a unique identifier because everything that we are going to inject, it must be unique for the injector. But the problem with using a string value as a unique identifier is that it is prone to errors. When we use a string token, it is easier to mistype and it makes difficult to track and maintain it in big applications. And this is where injection tokens comes into picture. So instead of using a string value, what we can do is we can use injection tokens. So first we will have to create those tokens. For example, here, let's go ahead and let's create a new injection token for that what I will do is I'll say export const and let's call this token as user underscore token now in order to create the token we use new keyword and we instantiate injection token class okay and to use this injection token let's go ahead and let's import it from angular slash go okay and in here, we also need to specify the type. So here, the type is going to be user service. And in here, we need to pass a string value. That string value can be used to describe what this token is going to do. So here, I'll simply say user underscore service. But this string can be anything. Okay, it does not matter. And in this way, we are creating a unique user token for this user service class. And now we can go ahead and we can use this user token instead of that string value. So in here, we can use that user token. And we also need to change it in the admin component where we are using this at inject decorator. So now there we are not using any string value. Instead, we are using an injection token. So we need to specify that injection token here. And same thing we also need to do here. And here it says cannot find name user token that's because we have defined this user token in the app module right we're defining this user token here and since we are exporting it from here we can go ahead and we can import it in this file so here we can write import statement and we want to import injection token from so we need to move one folder up and then we have this app module file. So from here, we need to import this user token. Let's write the same input statement in this user list component as well. Okay, here we need to move one more folder up. So I'll use dot dot slash one more time. Now let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And all right, let's go to this admin section. We don't have any error. Let's try to create a new user just to check if the functionality is working or not. So the functionality is still working. The user has been added and we also see this log message. A new user with name Mary and status active is added to the user list. So the logger service is also working. So this was a very high level overview of what is injection tokens in Angular and how behind the scenes Angular dependency injection works. Now, if you want, we can do the same thing for this subscribe service and also this logger service, but I'm not going to do that. Now, before I wrap up this lecture, I also want to cover two more things. The first thing is, if I go to this user service class, 
on that we are using this at injectable right and then what we are doing is we are providing this service in the app module we are providing it here in the same way we have other services so we have this logger service and on this logger service also we are using this at injectable and we are providing this service in the app module now instead of doing it like that what we can also do is if i go to this logger service class and before that let me close this admin component and user list component so what we can do is in here to this at injectable decorator we can pass an object and here we can specify a property provided in and to that we can assign root and this simply means that we want to provide this logger service from the app module and when we write it like this in that case we don't have to provide that service explicitly in the app module so here i can go ahead and i can remove this service from here we don't need to provide it anymore from the app module class because when we are creating that service and when we have decorated it with at injectable decorator there itself we are telling that we want to provide this logger service from the root from the app module so this line simply means that we want to provide this service from app module and in that case we don't have to explicitly do that by specifying this logger service inside this providers array of app module so if we save the changes and let's quickly check if the logger functionality is working or not so i'll go to this admin page and in here i'll create a new user maybe steve his mail let's say subscription type is quarterly and he's active when i click on this create button you see that user has been added and the log message is also added so the logger service is still working that means this logger service is still being provided from somewhere and that somewhere is nothing but app module even though we have not specified it explicitly here but when we say provided in as root we say that we want to provide this service from app module so this is one thing which i wanted to cover so let me close this logger service file let me also close this app module and let's close this user service as well and now what i will do is i will go to home component in there we have this hero component and sidebar component so let me open any one of these component maybe hero component so i'll go to hero component.ts file and in there we have our hero component class now in that class when we want angular to inject an instance of a service for that what we are doing is we are creating a constructor and using that constructor we want angular to inject a service inside its parameter right so this is one way we can do it and there is also a new way in which we can ask angular to inject a service so instead of using a constructor like this what we can do is we can create a property maybe let's again call it sub service and to that we can call a method called inject now in order to use this method we also need to import it from angular slash co okay and in here we need to specify the type of instance which we want to be injected inside this service and the type of service which we want to be injected here is subscribe service so we can go ahead and we can specify that so this is also how we can ask angular to inject a service inside a class instead of creating a constructor like this we can do something like this where we can use this inject method so this inject method it has been introduced in angular 14 so this is another way how we can ask angular to inject a service inside a class so if we save the changes if we go to the web page let's quickly check if we have any error and we do have an error here and the error is property sub service does not exist on type hero component let me go back oh i have misspelled the name here the property name so let me rename it to sub service let's save the changes let's go back to the web page again and now that error is gone let me close this console and we have added that inject method inside hero component so let me click on this subscribe now button and let's see if the functionality is working or not so when i click on the subscribe button you see that functionality is still working we still see that alert window but now instead of using a constructor for injecting the instance now we are using this inject method 